I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to rest here. And you, you're being loud. And you're kind of disturbing my peace. <laughs> so, shh. Yeah, outside. Trying to get that good sunlight. <laughs> Touching grass, climbing trees. Trying to sleep. So, shh. Uh, really? You have something to tell me. Well, I'm all ears. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'll be listening. Hey, I am taking you seriously. I'm just... I'm just gonna rest a little bit. So you just keep talking. And I'll... Mm. No, I didn't fall asleep. How could I fall asleep in, like, a second? <laughs> Fine, you caught me. But let's be serious here. Your important information is just... silly. Really, not this time. How about yesterday... We were hanging out, and you had something very serious to tell me. And I followed you. I was worried about you. And you led me to a caterpillar. <laughs> it was a very adorable caterpillar, I'll give you that. But your definition of serious, and my definition of serious, they're... they're kind of different. <sighs> fine, fine. Since I'm your best friend, your buddy, your pal, I'll take you seriously. So, what do you want to tell me? Or should I follow you? Maybe it's a stick. A really nice stick. <laughs> uh, fine. Serious. You have my attention. Uh, you like me. <laughs> me. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, good joke. Made me laugh. And I'll admit, you're adorable. <laughs> but I didn't see you doing these kind of jokes. With emotions. Toying with one's feelings. Maybe stick to the other sense of humor. The goofy humor. <laughs> So if you don't mind, you're sitting on my tail. Well, I would have said something sooner, but I didn't want to interrupt you. So if I can just have my tail back. Thank you. Now I'm going to close my eyes and you think of a better joke. Maybe something with a ladybug or a leaf. That's more your style. I was listening to you. I said good joke. Or whatever. But, uh, stick to the other sense of humor. Of course I'm listening. Look at my ears. They're very good at hearing. <laughs> uh, don't look at me that way. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh... You're being serious. Okay, look at it from my perspective. You are lovable, adorable, silly, and just energetic. Anyone would be happy to have you. And then look at me. I'm calm, very serious, and boring. So, <laughs> yeah, this has to be a joke. I'm not being mean to myself. I'm being honest. Boring is just one of my traits. Oh, you don't think I'm boring. Okay, how am I not boring? I'm fun. Oh, now I know you're lying. <laughs> okay, pal, buddy, 
Every time we do something fun together, you planned it. I just joined. So, you're the fun one. I just kind of tag along. Why? Because I'm your best friend. You're my best friend. Because I like spending time with you. Why? Because you're fun. You're adorable. You're, you're like life. Seeing the brighter side of things. Well, I'm kind of the opposite. So, you know, I just like spending time with you. When I'm with you, life seems more bearable. And then when I'm alone... <laughs> well, let's not go there. Uh, because I like you. <laughs> Where's all this confidence coming from? Normally you're energetic and stuff, but... <laughs> Never so bold to assume that I would like you that way. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I guess I do. It's not a big deal. I, so what? I like you. I have feelings for you. That doesn't mean I believe you. Are, are you even listening? Because look at me. Sure, I'm gorgeous. That's a given. But my personality, too calm and boring and just, you know, kind of pessimistic, looking on the negative side of things. Uh, oh, you think opposites attract? I, I don't think that works with real life relationships. <laughs> I think that's more of a science thing. Why would we go well together? If we have nothing in common, then... Fine. Maybe this isn't a joke. Maybe you do like me. For some reason. But I'm gonna be a good friend and decline your feelings. Even if I feel the same. Because you'll grow tired of me. And then that's just going to end up hurting. Hurting you. And hurting me. So, might as well just keep things as they are. What do you mean? Oh, you want to help me be more optimistic. <laughs> that's precious. Look at me. You're precious. You know that. Who's precious? <laughs> mm, it's you. But no, I don't really see that happening. After the life I've lived, I, I don't think so. Oh, but you don't want to give up. There you go again, just being adorable. Oh, well, you know, me saying these things, calling you cute names... <laughs> I guess you already are having a positive impact on me. Mm. I don't know if that's good enough to go on a date, though. And to explore our feelings for one another. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, please? Okay, you can stop. You don't need to keep saying please. No, you don't have to... Okay, stand up. <laughs> don't cause a scene. Uh, no, this isn't going to work on me. I don't care how adorable you look. You're going to embarrass yourself. <laughs> you don't care. So you're just going to keep saying please until I give in. Okay, what if I think you're being annoying? <laughs> you don't care. I'm not going to give in. No matter how many times you say please... Nope, I'm going to go back to resting. Going to close my eyes. <sighs> okay. I don't know what it is about you. Your your adorableness is just too much. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or, <laughs> or if it's going to mess with me. For now, let's say it's a good thing. Fine, I'll humor you. One date. And if it doesn't work out, if I'm not having fun, if I'm just going to be a boring person, creature, thing, <laughs> then we just go back to being friends. Uh, sure, if I end up having a good time, I'll be your girlfriend. And then I'll take you on a date. <laughs> we'll see.